Hello and welcome to Goa 365's English News Bulletin. I am Susan Gomes and these are the headlines. Ahmadmi Party President Amit Palikar gets regular bail in Banastari accident case. Directed to surrender phone, report to police. With only a few months left for Lok Sabha polls, government pushes for one nation, one election. Special Assembly session called from September 18 to 22nd. Opposition attacks move. Weather likely to remain unstable for the next few days. Light showers expected until Friday. And now for the news in detail. With the annual Ashtami Fair around the corner, the big question is, will we see a repeat show of the fiasco that happened outside the CCP? Mayor Rohit Montserrat says strict instructions have been given to maintain discipline and authorities will not hesitate to disperse crowds or take action this time round. Forms for stalls will be distributed on Tuesday, Montserrat informed, adding that while preference would be given to traditional stalls, the forms would be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. He also says the corporation has made certain changes to the protocols. Listen. Our uh, taxation officer and commissioner will be handling all the formalities. Whatever happened last year should not be uh, repeated this time. So we'll be extremely strict. Uh, regarding, uh, we will certain we have laid down certain requirements also that we want to do also. For example, now uh, we want to restrict the amount of people who have uh, stalls also. So all the IDs, everything should be placed properly. Our inspectors will be coming around to check also. So there's no confusion. Uh, rates also, we were thinking of uh, by increasing the rates also, Commissioner will give you details about all of that because every year at the end of the thing it is always dirty and our CCP staff have to spend 4 or 5 days cleaning that uh, mess. So we want to be extremely strict with everybody this year also. There were a few hiccups in the handling of last year's Ashtami Fair but Mayor Monserrat says efforts are being made to tackle them. So that is what I'm saying, there was some issue that happened last year so we, we don't want that. Some commissioner and uh, our taxation officer will be keeping a strict vigilance on all of this to make sure that uh, no issues arise in the future. So how will be the procedure this time? CCP's mayor provided details on the procedure being followed this year. No, it will be first come first serve. No? That's what I'm saying, commissioner will give you all the details also. Reservation I Panjai Sadi? No, no reservation. See, we want to give priority to all the traditional vendors, all the furniture people and everything else. We want to give them uh, preference. Uh, the ones and everybody also. The rest will be allocated as and uh, when there is uh, availability of stalls. Any quota is not there for the one? No, quota will be the restriction on area also. Now. No, we don't want to extend it so far also this time. So the size and that look, that thing will be the only restriction. Also. So when it is started, starting? So tomorrow they will distribute the forms. So okay. sometime on the 19th. No? Yeah, by Thursday or Friday. By Thursday or Friday. Will and where it will be? So we will start from the ferry point and we will end at uh, uh, Kalagadu. A huge crowd had gathered outside the CCP building on Monday afternoon as many hoped to get ahead in line to collect a form. But Montserrat, who does look to be reigning in things, took a very no-nonsense approach to how the CCP would be managing the crowds. No, no, let's see, Baba, this happens every year now. There is always confusion every year. How many meetings you have and everything does not make a difference. Everyone here wants those forms, so people wait before the forms even start being distributed. So like that, there is no issue. That's what I'm saying. So our tech, we have given strict instructions now to our commissioner and taxation officer. It should be handled very well this year. And uh, there should be no uh, issues this time. Also. They will see, they will have to leave now. There is no choice. I don't want any ruckus now, CCP. This is not uh, every year there is one uh, stupid issue like this. This should not be uh, happening. They should either assemble properly or this. We have no issue removing everybody now. Sir, per person, problem. how many forms will be available for per person? No, no, one per, one per person, you know. Srishti Athanakar, Nitiksha Gaunkar, Dylan Rodriguez, and Manisha Jadav for Goa 365. Aam Admi Party President Amit Palyakar has been granted regular bail in the Banastari accident case. The crime branch on Thursday had arrested Amit Palekar for criminal conspiracy accusing him of trying to mislead the investigation by producing a fake driver to the police. Here's more. Lawyers representing Amit Palekar on Monday informed that he, along with Raju Lamani, the man who was allegedly produced as a driver by Amit Palekar, have been granted bail. Listen. Order has passed.
रिपोर्टिंग पुलिस स्टेशन टिल क्राइम ब्रांच ओनली वन डे सब फाइल से एक उद्देश्य संगलाम का रिपोर्ट जाम होगा देन इट विल बी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दी आयो इन द मैटर इधर की अभी कंटिन्यू रिपोर्टिंग और नॉट एंड द कोर्ट हैज इंपोज्ड द कंडीशन टू रिपोर्ट टुमारो बिटवीन टेन टू एंड मोबाइल आर सर सबमिटेड टू योर सिंग टुमारो हैव टू सबमिट दैट वी कैन सबमिट ड्यूरिंग द ओके रामन आर्डर तो दूसरा हाथी जी तुम्हें कहला है The arrest of Aam Aadmi Party's Amit Palekar sparked major political unrest after the party accused the BJP of using the crime branch to attack the opposition. Amit was placed under arrest after being brought in for questioning by the crime branch. Palekar was arrested under section 120B criminal conspiracy of the IPC for allegedly misleading the investigation by producing Raju Lamani as a dummy driver of the car that met with an accident at Banastari that claimed 3 lives. The accident at Banastari has been shrouded in controversy ever since police began their investigation. From speculations of Meghna driving the car and strong political protection to police botching up the investigation the case has yet to find a meaningful conclusion krishna naik subhashish govekar and shivani sangelkar for goa 365 we will take a short break stay with us welcome back the north indian state of manipur has once again come into limelight following manipur government's fir's against three members and the president of the editors guild of india over allegations of biased coverage of manipur violence the state that has been re- reeling under violence for the past 4 months has seen the apex court pull up administration over the issue the manipur government on monday filed an fir against the president and three members of the editors guild of india The body has been accused of falsifying and fabricating a report based on Manipur violence which was released on Saturday. Manipur Chief Minister N Biren Singh said that the fact finding committee of Editors Guild of India did not meet representatives of both Meithi and Kuki community and came to an incorrect conclusion. But in the meantime how the editors bills conclude as a fact finding team who constituted them who constituted them they never authorized to have a you know the fact finding teams and to investigate political issues it is a sad fact and nothing to do with this present crisis in state of manipur and i also give a warning to the it is a news member if you want to do something please come to the spot is do this in here see the ground reality meet the representatives of the whole communities all the things then you do but this whatever you found otherwise meeting some people some section of the people and the coming to the conclusion that this are this that is highly condemnable that's why the state government has filed an fir against the members of the editor bills who are trying to create more you know uh, classes in the state of Manipur meanwhile over 160 people have been killed and hundreds injured since violence broke out in the northern state of india over 4 months back a recent incident of firing and mortar shelling had claimed 6 lives while 14 others were injured manipur has been reeling under violence since clashes broke out after a tribal solidarity march was organized in the hill districts to protest against meithi community's demand for scheduled tribe status manish parab and omkar desh prabhu for goa 365 Days after the Indian government called a special assembly session from September 18th to the 22nd, various reports suggested that the Modi-led government is planning to hold a discussion on the one nation one election policy. The speculations gained pace when the government appointed a panel for the same. Meanwhile, the opposition has criticized this move. In the world's biggest democracy, elections play an important role and Narendra Modi-led government has formed a committee under ex-president Ramnath Kovin who had voiced support for the idea years back. For the idea of one nation one election to materialize, it needs constitutional amendment for which lawmakers need to meet in parliament for deliberation. 
One nation, one election, as the name suggests, means simultaneous state and general elections. The Indian government has listed several benefits of the idea of one nation, one election, while emphasizing the reduction of money spent in elections and also saving a lot of time. Interestingly, the discussion on one nation, one election comes ahead of the 2024 general elections. Nonetheless, the Modi-led BJP government appears committed to the cause. One nation, one election has always been an agenda of the BJP, but the idea has drawn criticism from opposition parties, raising concern about its impact on India's federal structure. Further, Congress President Malika Arjun Kharge has said that one nation, one election will sabotage Indian democracy and constitution, while Congress leader Jairam Ramesh said that one nation, one election is an attack on the federal structure. One nation, one election. एक देश, एक चुनाव असंभव है बिना संविधान संशोधन के बिना संविधान का संशोधन होना जरूरी है संविधान संशोधन के लिए आम सहमति की जरूरत बनती है तो ये सब बाद में देखा जाएगा अभी तो ये एक समिति का गठन हुआ है हमारा विचार बिल्कुल साफ है कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष और पूर्व कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष ने साफ कहा है कि ये संघीय ढांचा पर एक भयंकर आक्रमण है और संविधान के संशोधन के बिना हम आगे नहीं बढ़ सकते 2017 में मोदी सरकार ने एक डिस्कशन पेपर नीति आयोग के द्वारा तैयार किया गया था उसकी कॉपी मैं आपको आप नहीं देखे हैं मैं आपको भेज सकता हूं उसमें विस्तार से चर्चा हुआ है किन किन तरीके से संशोधन लाने हैं हमारे संविधान में तो अभी तो ये समिति का गठन हुआ है और समिति का टर्म्स ऑफ रेफरेंस अगर आप देखें तो इन्होंने पहले ही तय कर लिया है कि वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन होना है जरूरी तो ये अजीब सा समिति है कि पहले ही समिति को आपने कह दिया है नतीजा क्या होगा और आप समिति को टर्म्स ऑफ रेफरेंस दे रहे हैं मनीष पारा बन शिवानी सांगेलकर फॉर गोवा Welcome back. The government's outreach program Janata Darbar has become quite a contentious affair. While the government says it is solving issues via this program, activists and several locals say it is only a gimmick. There have also been occasions where locals have complained of halls being filled with only government staff while residents were forced to stand outside. Here's what happened at the Janata Darbar in Vasco. धवलीकर वास्को एम एल ए कृष्ण सालकर एंड मोर्मोगाव एम एल ए संकल्प आमोणकर अलॉंग विद गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स एंड काउंसिलर्स issues ranging from garbage coal and fear of dabuli airport shutting down were raised some even charged that files were being held up by government officers watch tere ki amka 70 varsha ami rahta jeti mar manuga tena aaj amka pay karu melna ami bangladesh gatla ajun pude hosana collector no order dilla ke pay karu melna पण माझे कोणी बेगोस केस घातली आणि माझे सगळे व्हेकल म्हणजे आय इन्क्रोजन केला म्हणून सगळे जमीन अडायला म्हणून सर्व्हे करून पहिला काय ना नंबर फोन नंबर कोणाचं खबर ना सगळे बोगस असा आणि त्यांच्याने हे करून गेला पण अजून माझा काय हे करू ना आणि आज इतकी वर्ष झाली आम्ही आता आई आमच्या एकी टू वर्ष चालू असतात पण आज आमचा हे जर आज मिळणार फाल्या कसे असेल प्रशासन तुमच्या दारी दोन हजार एकवीसात पंचवीस सप्टेंबर हा प्रोग्राम जो काणकोण पोलीस स्टेशना से एम बी मेलो मे बाईं सबसिडी मेपा बाय मार्च जानेवारी दोन हजार एकवीस हमें एप्लाय के बाईं बाईं तीन वर्स जी आता मगर सीएम संगा एक महीन भर तुझे करता मन जाना जो संग काणकोण डब्ल्यू आर डी ऑफिस मे बाइक पड़त रही कहीं एक्शन घेना जवर जवर एक वर्ष देड वर्स उ आता तीन वर्स जाए दुसरो जनता दरबार हंगा जो काणकोण जो बाबा निलेष काब्रा जो प्रशासन तुम्हारे दादी तीसरो दरबार जो कलेक्टर जो मड़गा अंतर मनसर बाब आई चौथो जो सावड्या रेन बना रोहन गोटी आयो वो पांचो प्रोग्राम 
Following the darbar, the ministers and MLAs lauded the initiative. Listen. Number one, मुझे सरकार तुम जा दारी वो तो संकल्प मान्य मुख्यमंत्री यानी प्राइम मिनिस्टर आज हमारे देवदलन संबंध भारत चल रहा अन्य आज हमारे लिए निकूल दोस्त ऐसा कि जब pending issue जनता जा सके ते pending issue ज़्यादा तेरे भी के resolve कर पाजे वैसे सगड़े ऑफिसर ऐसा है यार खरीद कर ऑपरेशन तो साथ एक सब्सिडी चली अरे हम चीफ मिनिस्टर हम फोन कर लाड़ी सर ने कि कि बेटे ठीक लियर करूँगा वैसे याने टेक लियर तो वैसे गलप मुखार दो रोज बहुत ज़्यादा तर बार तो सिंगल पास प्रमोद जी सावन जो हम जो सरकार चलेता एक खरेक सीरियस है सर कि प्रशासन एक क्लीन अस्पताल है प्रशासन है ट्रांसपेरेंट अस्पताल है अन्य है सगे टाइम बाउंड अस्पताल में एक एक दा गवर्नमेंट आप इधर खूब शो प्रॉब्लम से था ना गवर्नमेंट आप जो प्रोसीजर जो आस्था तो एक खूब लामट प्रोसीजर आस्था अंताजा कितनी प्रॉब्लम्स एक एक दा पास पास सॉल्व जाए ना उनके बेगिन कशे सॉल्व हो पा सकता है अगर एक प्रयत्न और जनता दरबार दरा ना जला प्रशासन तुम चेता नहीं दरा ना ला बाकी चे सरकार तुम चेता नहीं दरा यह तो रूल मुझे सर्वेंस प्रशासन आज तुम्हें पहले कि प्रत्येक डिपार्टमेंट आ चेता पुलिस साम पीडब्ल्यूडी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पीसीपी आरटीओ सर्वे मुझे तुम्हें लोकांचे जे विषय ऐसा ते लोकांग यो नगा एक्सप्रेस कर पाग मेरा आज तुम्हीं पहला स्तर है लोग कशे अपने एक्सप्रेस करता है जितने का त्रास तथा ते कशे इश्यूस ऐसा ते एक्सप्रेस करता है इस काई ना मतलब मगर ते राउंड एक फिफ्टी लोकानी अपने व्यूज मार ले तंजने अपने इश्यूस मार ले आंगा बाकी चल इन राइटिंग दिल्ली ला सर सो अराउंड कहीं नंबर ले आई अराउंड मोर देन हंड्रेड लोकन जो जो इश्यूज असले ले इन मुरमागोआ तालुका ते एड्रेस चले ला सर आल्सो फ्रॉम अपार्ट फ्रॉम मुरमागोआ अदर प्लेसेस आल्सो एक्टिविस्ट हाउएवर लुक एट द दरबार इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट मैनर वॉच दरबार अंगा सर मुरमागोआ नीचे नहीं गिरता रविंद्र भवन आन नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मिडले ते जो हॉल हा ते सारके लान आ सारके बितून गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स चोड हा आणि आमचे लोक कमी हा आणि मका झाला हे दिसत की लोकांना हाडून बेस्टेच बसले जे कोण प्रश्न मांडपी आहे त्यांना बितून वचकूच मिळणार सो हा सरकारला सांगू स्वतः तुम्ही जनता दरबार बी हे घेता खबर आहे मरे हे तुमचे कमी पण म्हणजे तुमच्याकडे कामा जायना म्हणून हे जनता दरबार तुम्ही घेता आता जेव्हा आमदार हा पंच हा कौन्सिलर हा यांच्या लोकांच्या घरा वचून ती कामा करून घेऊ जाय मरे जी कामा लोक ग्रीवेन्सीज हे लोक गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंटांनी हाडतात जनता दरबार किद्याक जाय जनता दरबार हेचा अर्थ खबर आहे दरबार म्हटलं ते राजेशाही त्या टायमाचे काय फिलिंग ते ये तुम्हें जे करूं उठले खबर आहे मरे हे सगळे टोटल माझ्या हिसपान झाला याचा काहीच यूज ना जेव्हा सरकार तुझ्या दारी आणि प्रशासन तुझ्या दारी हे प्रोग्राम चालू आहात नो त्यांना जनता दरबार किद्याक जाव जनता दरबार जावं किद्याक मला सांग आणि तुम्ही जर घेतात सपोज जे प्रोव्हिजन पहिली सारखे करा लोकांना बसपाचे हिसपाचे बीन किती रे उदक तरी दिया लोकांना ते तुम्ही मला एक सांग तुमचे पार्टीची हायप करपा आणि इलेक्शना लागी पावले म्हणून तुम्ही हे सगळे लोकांना लागी हाडून हे सगळे दरबार बिरबार बीन घेता किती रे दरबार बीन घेऊची गरज ना ते प्रशासन आणि सरकार तुमच्या दारी हे दोन प्रोग्राम जे केले नो ते सारखे रीतीन तुम्ही हे करा कळ तुका आणि जे कोण खरेच आपले ग्रीवेन्सीज मांडून सोडतात कळ तुका ज्यांचे जेन्युन आहा ते ऐका आणि त्या टायमाचे ते सॉल्व्ह करा नका झाले त्यांना एक्सक्युजीस देऊ नका हिरो महालय सुभाषिष गोवेकर मनीषा जाधव फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्स्टी फाइव एन नाउ फॉर द वेदर द वेदर इज लाइकली टू रिमेन अनस्टेबल फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू डेज लाइट शावर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड ऑन ट्यूसडे एंड हेवी रेन्स आर फोरकास्ट ऑन द सिक्स्थ सेवेंथ एंड द एथ फॉर द वेदर इज प्रेडिक्टेड टू टर्न ड्राई ऑन द नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ Monday was a fairly dry day. Storm clouds that are expected to bring rain later this week had begun moving in and a few places did get some passing showers. We are expecting a similar pattern on Tuesday when IMD's forecast indicates that Goa will get more widespread rain. Temperatures will peak at around 32 in the afternoon before dropping to around 24 later in the day. When it isn't raining the weather will be quite hot and humid but IMD predicts the day will be quite windy so there will be some relief from the sweltering weather. As per the update from the Met, a yellow alert is raised on the 6th, 7th and 8th for the coast in anticipation of heavy rains. Citizens are advised to prepare accordingly. Light showers forecast on Tuesday. Heavy rains likely after Thursday. Yellow alert warning raised on 6th, 7th and 8th. Weather to be mostly hot and humid. Windy conditions expected to prevail. Skies to remain cloudy as storm clouds approach. Maximum and minimum temperatures on Tuesday: 32 degrees Celsius and 24 degrees Celsius, respectively. No weather warnings issued for boat owners. Bureau report: Goa 365 with inputs from IMD. With that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube Goa365TV. Take care. Stay safe. 
and keep watching Goa 365.